Good morning, Sona Pon Seven family. Welcome back to your Monday episode. I thank you so much for tuning in. If you're in, at work already, we wish you all the best. If you're home, getting out cozy and enjoying the rain, you might as well enjoy too. Time for our third conversation. We're talking Olympic Games. So the Belize Olympic and Commonwealth Association is here with us today to talk about the Olympic Day activities that's happening on June 19th. June 19th is a big day. It's your birthday. <laughs> it's and my birthday and every, all the goodness is happening on that day. So let's introduce our guests. They're going to giving us this insight. We have Mr. Giovanni Alamia, the Vice President of the Association. Good, Good morning, morning, sir. How are you doing? I'm well, all is well. Thank yeah, you. you're in the right Monday energy. <laughs> De <laughs> yes. Definitely. I love it. And we also have Mr. Alan Sharp, the General Secretary of the Association. Sir, Mr. good Sharp, morning. How are you feeling? Great. Good? Great. Great. It's still for volleyball, but no, it's still for Olympics. Right. right. Different thing, a little right. bit different. And just so you know, we picked June 19th because it's your birthday. Ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I, I, I feel the love. I feel the love. I'm sure that's true. Yes. I'm sure that's true. I don't Whatever care. Helps I don't care. Sweat, Whatever <laughs> makes me feel good. I don't care. But thank but you so much. What makes us feel good too is Olympic Day. And I, we were talking about it. I feel like for myself, I'm speaking on my behalf that, you know, there's not enough information that I know about Olympic Day that like, you know, to be able to be first on what's happening. And I think it's so important to have this conversation. To even mm -hmm. think, why is there Olympic Day in the first place? So maybe let's shed some light on that. What's the importance of Olympic Day? Because we only know about the Olympics, but why is there a day? To well, when, you know, that's the general perception by the public. And the only time they know about Olympics is during the Olympics, which only occurs every four years. Yeah. But the Olympic Charter has an Olympic movement, which is all about peace, solidarity, inclusion, sustainability. They have a large message. And Olympic Day is a day that highlights basically the founding of the International Olympic Committee and all its movements. So that's how Olympic Day came about. It started actually in 1948. Wow. Um, but only nine countries started out then. In, okay. And if I may do quick history, in 1978 was when they formally made it that all countries should participate in it. Um, and that's how it grew. And, it, and now we have 206 uh, countries that, that, that participate every year. June 23rd is picked because that is the day of the founding of the IOC. Um, June 23rd is the actual Olympic day. Okay. But we try to pick a Sunday, so we pick the Sunday, in this case, June 19th, although I, 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 it, it's, it's your birthday as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you were just trying that shot, you missed a I, I see, love I it. see you. So we're talking Olympics, and um, of course, whenever we think of Olympics, there's a, a diverse of, of uh, athletics, if we, can, if we can say that, that happens on that day, right? So what can people expect um, to happen on June 19th? So, so what we did on it for the... Originally, what we have always done in Belize is we will have a run on Albert and Regent Street. Okay. Just a run. Is that happening know. this year too? No, this year, actually 2019 was the first year we did something at BTL Park where we invited all the national federations, the 18, the 18 or 19 national federations, and they put on a little display for, for anyone that wants to come see, you know, because it's not every day you get to sit next to a sailboat or in a little sailboat or see... Uh, a time trial bike from, from cycling, you know, or try the, the swords from, from fencing or, or try judo. You know, so we, we, we figured out, um, you know, the best thing to do is we invite everyone in one area and the general public could come in and experience it. So again, that was in, I believe, 2019. And because of COVID, of course, we weren't able to do anything. So now this year we're doing it at Civic. Okay. And again, we invited all the public to attend the general public, uh, all the national federations are going to be there and put on a little display. And that will conclude with, um, with the Olympic run, we'll, Olympic Day run, where we'll have various ages and different and, and distances for everyone. Wow, you so, know, like, go ahead. Sorry. So is it going to be similar to like the 2019 where there's a display of everything as yes. well? So how much association? You mentioned last time it's like 18, 19, so 19, 19, 19, 19, 19, 19 association. Yeah, 19 association. And we have some new ones which I think will be very interesting to the public. Weightlifting has just become a federation in Belize, a national federation. Nice. So you'll get to see weightlifting. Um, as as uh, Giovanni mentioned, fencing. Fencing is always one that, that piques the kids' interest because they get the sword fight. Sword fight. Uh, that is uh, hype. So right. they, can, yeah. they can partake in it too as well. Yes, yes, yes. yes. No, the whole, the, the whole idea is to do, uh, well, the pillars of the movement are move, learn, and, um, 
and with I mean, discover. Sorry, I, I was thinking. <laughs> so fine. that last one is very important. These are we, we want people of all ages, not only the, the young, but but the, the all in between, every gender, every age, to come and learn and see the different sports, become interested. It's not whether you are very good athletically or not. It's about to come to learn about sports so that uh, you can support sports because part of the Olympic movement is that sport can change the world. Sport plays an important uh, part of of. of, of, of uh, shaping yeah. the world. The, value. The, the, the theme is that together, help, help me out, Giovanni. Um, movement for peace. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to say that sport, through, through sport, we can make a difference in the world. And again, it comes down to peace. It comes down to uh, changing the world in, in being more green, um, in um, working all together in a peaceful way. So that's, that's, that's what the Olympic movement is about. An yeah. Olympic day is trying to bring that to life in a small way. Um, as, uh, as he spoke about just now, we have all these sports in the, in the compound of Civic Center. So it's a small concentrated area. So it's going to be inside or outside? Outside. O outside. outside. Okay. But it's going to be all in a small space. So you get to go from bodybuilding to judo, that's right next door to to everything that's going to be close by and you can get to see, get to feel, get to put on the gloves, get to try the different sports. Um, and, and so that's the whole idea because we want to build a, a, a sense of peace, a sense of change, a sense of moving forward. Yeah, it also, I'm, I'm thinking it gives people a sense of belongingness and gives you a space to identify yourself. Given that there's 19 associations, 19 uh, groups are going to be there because I, I did not realize there was like so much disciplines um, in, in athletics, in the Olympics, and especially having them in Belize. You know, like you would see them, uh, foreign countries doing it, but then you realize it's right here. So I'm thinking people can get a feel of it. And they can sign yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Sign I think that, well. that has always been the issue where people might look, watch the Olympics, like you say, every four years and say, so, oh man, I would love to try that sport, yeah. but they don't do it in Belize. Or I want to try it, they don't do it in Belize. Right. Actually, we do. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. just for the National Federation and us, the Olympic Committee, to bring it out mm -hmm. so people can access it. You know, because, I mean, some of the federations, they might be more dominant out west or down south, or, you know, in Belize City or, or rural areas. Right. You know, so someone from Corozal might not know it's available in Belmopan or in San Ignacio. So it's for us to, to bring it out. But so, for all we know, bring, that same bringing out, like you mentioned, like if it's more in the rural, can bring it to the urban area too as well because maybe people can start the movement they can branch out or so and that right. how we create that real unity yeah. that big peace yeah. movement where we're having people much more involved and well, we know they could go to olympics too as well yeah exactly yeah. Well, well look I mean, canoe people think of glutamaya that's the end of it but canoe is a federation canoe went to the last olympics so um there is there is an opportunity if you know to go and represent belize uh, in one of these sports. And that's at the high level. But like I'm saying, it's, for this Sunday, it's not only about the high level, it's about for everybody. Um, the highlight, the, the core of the Olympic Day is the Olympic Day run. Um, in the Olympic Day run, we always give away T-shirts that have the big Olympic Day. So that will be a giveaway for that uh, day. More shirts. Um, <laughs> all side shirts, all side shirts. It's supposed to be his birthday game. Yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. to come run to get that. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> and we have different distances to run. We don't make it a 10K or anything like that because, uh, you know, we, we want people to participate. It's, it's uh, a fun run. It's, it's a, a fun, fun run. It's, it's not even it. really a race, although some people take it serious. I mean, you have to, and, and somebody to, has to win. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So there it goes. So June 19th is a day and it starts at 1 p.m. At 1. 1 to 5 o'clock. So everybody should show up. If you're yeah. interested in a sport or you want to learn, engage, or support people that are engaging in that sport as right. well, right? And there's no age limit. Yeah. Home, yeah. as young, as seasoned as you are, whatever it is, and you can be try on these different stuff, get tips from these people that are in the federation, get to learn and see if you like this and how it can be applying to your own life. You can be a part of it. You can start up something new, man. I think yeah. that's yeah. what we... And, and one, home. Yeah, sorry. And one, one of the things too is that the national federations will have some of their national athletes there. Mm. So 
again, this might be an opportunity for a child to meet their their favorite Hero. Belizean athlete. Right. Awesome. You know, so and that all those that that again opens up another avenue for them to be able to get motivated to to join a sport. Wow. Beautiful. So all of that, they're just gonna take out like a walk through with nineteen different disciplines, just walking right through, putting whatever on, and just enjoying your time, discovering something for yeah. yourself. And yeah. again, one o'clock to five p.m. Right. And this is at Civic Center on the compound outside yeah. there. Guys, make sure you try to stay your best in tune. Um, could you tell me if they're going to be like a listing of all the federations like on your page or something so people can know what they can look forward to? Or is it you just going on your surprise? Well, they, 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 we will have a lot of announcements this week on our Facebook. Um, but at the same time, we, we're not pre-registering. Uh, if you When you come out there, you get to participate. You get to, it's like an expo. Okay. You get to move around. Um, then for the run itself, for that one, yes, you have to register because we give out the T-shirts, we give out a certificate for everybody that participates, oh, nice. and and the and um, the winners get medals. So all of that uh, takes place. All right. For the run, the run starts at three thirty um, for different age groups. So we have the. I thought the, we all were gonna go together. Uh, <laughs> Different distances, so yeah, we, different we, distances. we don't want the, the, the smaller kids to be run over basically by the adults. Right? Mm -hmm. So we'll start them separate. Because we have one for, for very young kids, like less than nine or around nine yeah. year old. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we, we've had little three, four year old kids run, you know, and, and again, it's just for the experience to get out there, to get involved. That is true. So, parents, teachers, everybody, you know where you can be right here this Sunday at the Kevin's birthday, but it doesn't matter. We're having Olympic Day too as well. Yeah, so it's a whole big party. It's a whole ball <laughs> that's happening right here at Civic Center. Make sure you make your way out. 1 o'clock to 5 p.m. at 3.30, they're going to be having the Olympic run. You're going to register when you get there. You can get a t-shirt. You can get a certificate. You can go and run and have fun. Meet your different stars that you didn't, didn't mm -hmm. even get to see. Like in person, talk to them. But it's going to be a great time to pique your curiosity and just see where you fit. Like Kevin said, it's about belonging and also growing these disciplines, guys. Like we have it here, it's present, but let's see how we can make it grow and build in our community. So yep. we really want to thank you, gentlemen, gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. We really appreciate this conversation. And we need to have more of it. Remember, we need to learn more about Olympics. Yes, we Not do. just for four years when, when time That's comes. That's right. So right. we'll be yeah, expecting more of these conversation, guys. But we also have to expect a commercial. And when we're back, we're keeping on the idea of like an expo kind of vibe because we have market day. So you see how we have Olympics Day on Sunday? We have market day on Saturday. This whole weekend jump up with all great stuff, guys. We're going to talk to University of West Indies Association about what's happening with their upcoming market day. Stay tuned.